Hello and welcome to the Easy Solution Systems tutorial videos. I'm Jesse Brown and today we'll be going through reports in Retail Man. So firstly we want to go to Sales. Next you want to choose Invoices List Report. As you can see here there is a location option. This is actually a version of Retail Man that allows you to set up networking um, and you may not have this um, so just ignore this but for this case I'll be choosing AU for the location and just to clarify for this video these reports are applicable to all areas of Retail Man. Here you can see the list of types um, invoice, quote, layby, credit, sales deposit and consignment out but for this we're going to do invoice You've also got your reference number, you can put in your client name, report type, you can do totals, summary, detailed, detailed no cost and detailed list. Um, but for this we're going to be doing totals and here you can choose to um, bring up invoices that are outstanding or they are paid and you have the option for choosing the dates in which you would like the invoices to appear but we're just going to leave it as this. So what we're going to do here, you can see there's three options at the bottom, screen, printer, and file. We're going into the screen option to bring up the invoice. Left clicking is the basic option that you can choose to bring up the invoice. We're going to maximize. Here you can choose um, very simple options. Go to page, the percentage of zoom, and the print option. We're going to leave this. For a more advanced screen, if you would like to, you can right click on the button. This will bring up the invoice. And here you can see at the top, you have a few more options. Um, there's settings that you can change and so forth. So as you can see, you have the date, the quantity, tax, the amount, um, the amount paid and the amount due. Up the top you can sort the pages as two um, in pairs or by four if you would like to see more pages at a time. You also have show miniatures. You've got the find option here. So if we type in one, um, a box will come up on the page and you will find anywhere that it says one on the screen, it will um, put a box around it which is quite handy um, and you can also be more precise in what you type to find certain things. Here we have the printing options available to you, a number of copies, the save report button, um, this allows you to save the invoice in various kinds of formats. We've also got the send report by email. Um, printing references, this just brings up the printing screen. Yeah, you can see you can change whatever you would like to for your printing options. You have the print report and we have configuration as well. Here under general you can see um, you can modify the way it's laid out for the invoice. So by default you might have noticed that the toolbar was floating. Um, I don't prefer this, I actually prefer to have my toolbar up the top. So that's what I've changed it to. You got the canvas count, zoom and window state, I prefer maximized. You also have the progress bar. Um, so when you're loading, when you're producing your invoice, um, it'll just show you the loading bar. You have controls and the toolbar options that you can either tick or untick if you want them there or not. You've also got the size of the buttons. So for this, as you can see, this is now on big. Um, this may be easy for you to press or see the buttons, which is quite handy. We 
We've got output. These are the options, your saving options, and whether you would like to create a default path for your files. You've also got um, email. Um, that's if you've set up your email, your SMTP server, login, password, etc. from your ISP. You also have PDF options. Um, you can choose to change the PDF options if you would like to. And also um, worksheet file extension as well. I'm going to close. Here, if you would like, you can choose the dates and then just press the print button and it comes up with the print preferences. You've also got file. So this will um, save a file or if you would like to, you can choose to right click on file and it will bring up the destination and you can choose what file format you would like to save as. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next one. Bye.